Hello, hola, this is Miss Brisk. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a loaf of bread using only five simple ingredients. So here's our shopping list. These are the things that you're going to need to buy um, at a store. So we're gonna need milk, leche, and you can buy a half a gallon of milk at Walmart for $1.07. Let's run it up to the nearest dollar. Here is the general rule for rounding. If the number you're rounding is followed by numbers five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you round the number up. If the number you're rounding up followed by a zero, one, two, three, or four, you round the number down. So if we look at the number that comes after the number one, which is a zero, so we follow our rules, we'll round the number down. So we'll round to one dollar. You will also need flour. You can, harina, I'm gonna try my best to say it in Spanish. And you can buy, again at Walmart, you can buy a um, five pound bag for $2.48. Let's round it up to the nearest dollar. And if you look at the number that comes after the number two, it's number four. So we're gonna round it up. We're gonna round the number down to $2.00. You will need salt, sal. You can buy a um, can of salt or um, for 92 cents. And if you look at the number that comes after the number zero, it's a nine. So you're going to round the number up, which gives us one dollar. And you'll also need active dry yeast. I have a little jar right here, um, levadura activa seca. You can buy this jar at Walmart for $4.58. Again, we're gonna round it up. We're gonna look at the number that comes after the number four, which is number five. So we're gonna round the number up to $5. Let's add all of our numbers up. One plus two equals three three plus one equals four four plus five equals nine so you will need approximately nine dollars to buy all of the ingredients but it will last you for a few loaf of bread so you can make um several loaf of breads using all of these ingredients <laughs> i have a helper here his name is my name's Jake. <laughs> All right, so Eric is going to help me. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pour a cup of milk. Una taza. Taza. Okay, like this. Into a bowl. Okay. Just make sure your um, milk is at room temperature. If it's not, if it's just right straight out of the fridge, um, you're going to have to add a cup of water. So make sure the water is going to be a little hotter to, so that the whole, um, when you mix it up, so that the temperature of the liquid that's gonna be in the bowl is about at room temperature. Okay. All right, now we're gonna add a cup of water into a bowl. Thank you. And the next thing that we're going to do, we can just mix it up a little. And we are now going to need to add one tablespoon. So the next thing we're going to do is add one tablespoon of active dry yeast, Levedura Activa Seca. So we just need one tablespoon, one bowl. Let me make sure it's full. Just add it here. Thank you. And we're just gonna mix it up. Trying to look like it's chocolate in it. It's like milk chocolate. <laughs> it does look like it. The next thing you need is half a teaspoon 
This was a tablespoon. This mm -hmm. is a one tea, half of teaspoon of salt. Over here, over the bowl. Uh huh. Turn it the other way. Turn it the other way. Mm -hmm. And just mix it up. Just put it over here. Thank you. The next ingredient, the next step is we're going to add four cups of flour. You can use any white flour. To make it a little healthy, you can use um, whole, grain, whole wheat flour. But for today, we're just going to use white flour. I prefer to um, sip the flour through um, the strainer because it makes it a lighter um, and it's not as dense. Go ahead. One, two, three, So we'll put two, how many more do we need? <laughs> we need two more. So we add it to. It's kind of making my mountain right here. Three. Let me see. You can do it with these two. And now we, I have a wooden spoon that I use, but you can use any spoon you want. And we're gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna check to see if we have enough flour. Sometimes you need to add just a little bit more. We're gonna check to see if we have enough. <clears throat> By mixing it all up. We may need to add more water, we may not. I don't know what happens. Yeah, let's we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to add a little more water. We sometimes maybe um, just play it by ear and see if you need less flour or more flour, but this definitely needs a little more water. So I'll be right I'm back. More water. Consistency needs to be soft. Can you zoom it in and see what it show what yeah. it looks like? Yeah, I need to. last step is we need to leave it for two hours to let the dough rise. Um, you have to leave it at room temperature or a warm place. You need to also cover the bowl with a towel or maybe an old shirt and in the meantime just leave it alone. You can do some reading, you can um, do some exercises, you can draw, you can play video um, games or read books. And we'll come back in two hours and look at the toe again. Time is up. <laughs> All right, it's been two hours. Let's look at our dough. It looks like oatmeal. <laughs> I can agree with you. Touch it, actually. Your hands are clean. Mine are. I just washed them. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we can actually um, 
turn the oven to bake. And we're gonna set it up to 425 degrees. All right, so we're gonna go up by five. 355, 360, 365, 370, 375, 380, 385, 390, 395, 400, 405, 410, 415, 420, 425. Start. All right, we're gonna go back. And you can, um, so the dough is sticky. So you can add flour to your hand so it doesn't stick as much or you can add some oil, which I'm going to do. And I'm also actually going to oil the um, loaf pan. You can do it with a tissue or your hands or spray it with um, bam, baking spray to avoid the dough sticking to the pan itself. Actually, I want my hands to be greasy. So we're gonna take the dough. And the good thing about this dough, actually, if you wait for two hours and it's too late or you're so tired from playing or reading books or doing homework, that you don't have the strength to, do, to bake this bread anymore. You can actually cover it, put it in the fridge and bake it the next day. The only thing you have to do is take it out of the fridge, um, Leave it on the countertop for two hours and then bake it and proceed with the rest of the steps. All right. Can you see how sticky it is? I'm surprised that that actually works. <laughs> Why? I've done it before. All right. It's not gonna be perfect and maybe sometimes you need to add a little more flour. I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm just gonna place it. It's not perfect, it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay, it's still gonna be good. And then I'm gonna leave it in um, the pan. And I need to go wash my hands. I'm back. We're gonna put this in the oven. Mm -hmm. It is ready, it has reached 425 degrees. I put it in the oven. And we're gonna set up our timer. I, I, I can already feel the heat from right here. We're gonna set our timer for 50 minutes. You can do it on a microwave, your phone, timer, watch. I'm gonna use my microwave. I'll see you back in 50 minutes. The bread is almost ready. So let's quickly review the steps um, for making the bread in a sequential order. First, pour one cup of milk and one cup of water into a bowl. Second, add one tablespoon of active dry yeast. Add one half a teaspoon of salt. Next, add four cups of flour and then wait two hours. Then place the dough into a loaf slash bread pan. Next, Turn the oven to bake and set the temperature to 400 to 425 degrees. Finally, bake, bake the bread for 50 minutes and you're finished. Do Nine, the countdown. Eight, Seven, six, five, five four, three, two, two one, one, zero. All right, ready? Let's see. Mmm. Look at that. Isn't, isn't this beautiful? <laughs> you can um, leave it like this. You can put it on the cooling tray and let it cool off a little bit. Um, I hope you enjoyed our video. I had Ben and Eric helping me. Um, I miss you guys. Um, I wish you all well, and I hope to see you all soon back in school. Yeah, I want, I want to say and enjoy the new bread. Okay, bye. And enjoy the bread. <laughs>